Hi guys, hello and welcome to another Java programming tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be calculating a person's age. We will be accepting some inputs from user, we will be accepting user's name, and we are asking user to please enter your date of birth in this format, ddmmyyyy. After we accept all the inputs from user, now is the time to work with our date to convert it to a proper format. Therefore, we are taking help from simple date format class. I'm using a lot of built-in classes in this example because what built-in classes can do you and I cannot code to meet that same standard because they're tested code. That's a tested code. Anyway, so we accept the user input and we are converting it into a simple date formatter. We are taking the formatter object and we are saying, okay, this is my input mask or my formatting. Then I take my date of birth that I accepted as a string and I'm parsing it based on that formatter into a date object. Once I have my date object done, now I'm taking my date object and I want to convert it to a local date, which is a much newer class than the date class, which is from much older editions of Java. The date class from java.util package is even deprecated. So that's why I'm taking it to the local date object. So I'm converting my date to an instant object and then I'm taking my instant object to convert it into a zoned date time. From there, I'm converting it to the local date. Once I have my local date, now I can compare the birth date with the current date and time. In order to do that, I am taking help from a period class instance period, and I'm calling the static method between, in which I am passing two parameters. One is the given date, which is my birth date in the local uh, date time format, and I'm calling the local date dot now which will give me today's date and time I'm taking the difference between the two in the period object then in my output I'm saying hello so and so your current age is and then I'm saying period dot get years which will give me the number of years on top of that the number of months and the number of days now let's run this program let's enter the name and let's enter a date of birth in that format which is the day first followed by the month, followed by the year. So here it tells me that so-and-so person, you are 20 years, 11 months, and seven days old. I hope this would have helped you solve your assignment problem or help you understand some of the extra classes in Java, how you can go about working with them. Now, this is not the only approach this is one of the gazillions of approaches that you can take to solve this problem. Let me know in, uh, in the comment section below how you like this tutorial. And don't forget to like, share, and comment. And also make sure that when you're writing this code, I've written this in a try-catch block because it could raise a parse exception because I'm parsing to the date format. That's because of that I wrote uh, the code in the parse exception. Take care, guys. See you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.